G'day guys, today I was in the tent shop, I was just looking for some stuff to go camping and I came across this 10 pole kit and I thought, okay, Cobra bag. These are fiberglass 10 poles and I'll put a link in the description where you can get a set of these on Amazon for about $16. So, I want to see if I can make a fiberglass 10 pole Cobra bag. Let's try it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to use two of, of the rods that came with it. It came with four, but I'm just going to need two. You may need three depending on your height, or you may only need two. Now, you can also cut the fiberglass, but that's quite hazardous. So make sure you Google how to cut this thing if you're going to do it. You need to wear protective goggles and possibly some gloves as well. So, I'm just going to use two of them. I'm going to tape them together and I'm going to put a target on here. Now for the target, I'm just using a section of pool noodle that I've wrapped with tape and I've put a couple of zip ties on the ends and I've got one of these target things that I've made. You've seen me make these in another video where I showed you how to make these Cobra bags. It's all made using pool noodles. It's nice and light, but it is perfect for using as the um, punching target or pad at the top. The rod itself, I've taped where they come together over that so it doesn't move around too much. I don't want it coming out and the tape is holding pretty well. Now I've also taped a section of galvanized steel pipe because I'm going to use a galvanized flange to, to put this onto a base onto um, like a board, an MDF board like I normally do. So I've had to wrap a bit of extra tape onto the rod so that there's a nice snug fit and I've taped it onto the galvanized steel pipe. So that fits and that's sitting on it quite nicely and that's ready to go onto a base. Now for those of you who haven't seen me making these bases, it's simply an MDF board and it's got a galvanized flange in the middle and that's the pipe's just gonna screw into that. Um, have a look at my previous videos on how to make this thing. It's fairly straightforward. You just need a board and a galvanized flange. All right, so I've put that into the board, into the flange, I've screwed it in, and here it is. Now, all I have to do is pretty much attach my target. I've just wrapped some tape. This is sort of like sticky tape. I don't know why it's sticky, but it's just gone sticky. And it's perfect to just put this on, slide that on there, and that should hold. Okay, let's try it out. Well, it's not bad. The movement is slightly different. Still does the go around in the circle bit, which is nice. It's pretty good. I like it. I actually quite like it. So there you go. Ten poles for a Cobra bag. Easy peasy. Now just to give you an update on the latest on the Culus Cobra. Here it is. So at the moment I'm actually working on these top sections. I've got a couple of prototypes coming for the rods. I want to make them adjustable so the adjustable ones are coming. I've gone through a number of tests so far, so it is a long process to get the prototype just right with the manufacturers that are making these things. I just modified the target slightly. I want it to have something that you can really hit. So that's coming up soon. Still work in progress. I'll keep you up to date, but that's the latest sort of update for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.